Okay, so I think we're recording. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, Rob's in the corner here. He's gonna be telling me stuff, I guess. Maybe. So we have put our heads together and we came up with this new format. It's called uh, "Last Week in Developer Memes: Colon Review." Boomer edition. Boomer edition. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be we're gonna be going through a bunch of stuff and and, and kind of commenting on on the the memes. It's r slash technonaut submission. Techno not submissions. That's not hard to say. Here we go. Oh, and, and, and while this is loading, because apparently this takes a long time, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of things, um, and hit that bell. Uh, we're, you know, to think about it, we're actually kind of if they ever change the bell. So hit whatever button it is that gets you a notification if you're watching this in like 2025. The product and the users. So the product is what's the product here? It's the cat food. And then the cats are eating it. <sighs> oh, I get it, because the users are stupid. This is the, the this is the best we have, Rob? This is the best? Yes. Uh, okay, anytime I see regex. Um import RV. I'm gonna try. You know, that's true though. So you got your regex statement here, and there's some sort of there's some sort of like magical code spell. Like it's wizardry. And yeah, you just kind of, you just kind of say, yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's it. I guess that was that the joke though. Is this humor or is this just relatable? When you replace your non-working code with something copied from Stack Overflow. I feel like that's a working car. Like what's the, what's so funny about this? The guy put chandeliers on his car. It's actually kind of awesome. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Uh, found this in production today. I need a drink. Okay, so you've got two two functions here, method. I don't know what the difference is. Mark Zuckerberg knew the difference between functions and methods. I don't. I don't know what the difference is. Okay, so we have a thing at the top called compare booleans, taking an original and a value, return our booleans equal with the original and the value. And then you have this other thing that's you're supplying the booleans to this thing, and then this comes back and says if they equal each other, return false or return true. Is this something you actually found in production today? Is that for real? Cause this is, I feel like you just do this thing. Is this the joke though, that somebody wrote too much code, more code than they're supposed to write? This has 7,000 likes and 2,500 retweets. Holy crap. We need to start tweeting stupid things cause that's apparently the way to do it. When programmers say I built my own framework because existing ones don't, don't do exactly what I want. So the person, what, they're they're trying to eat cereal, but that's not how you eat cereal. Yeah, you just you need a concave surface. What's the problem? What's the problem? That got the job done. But listen, building your own framework, I'm going to just talk to you directly, developer people. Build your own framework. It's fun. It's, it's actually kind of cool. Like, you don't need to be using whatever Facebook framework exists or Google framework exists. Just make your own. I'm going to downvote the shit out of that. Did we upvote one of these at least? Hello, how are y'all this morning? Y'all, hate that word. Always wondering what day of the week it is? Who? Huh? A function, what day is today? Return Tuesday. There, you can use that. It fails six sevenths of the time. But I tried it several times this morning and it worked every time because today was Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I get it, but that's a, this is really a meme. Does this have, up, this has awards. These were award, awarded, oh my God. People paid money to say, I like it that much. Oh God, when project is not ready, but client wants a demo. That's actually hilarious. I like this one. Get an upvote. I love it because you're, yeah, I mean, come on. You're just going to like every time you ever give a demo to a client, there's like all of these things that are propped up behind like a mountain of toothpicks and popsicle sticks and glue that are holding together. That's actually every website, like every website in existence. It's just a plane being spun around by an excavator and you're telling the person, no, it's a real plane. It can fly like, and you, oh, but you know, if you're in there, it feels like you're flying. I mean, it works, I guess when your code works, but you have no idea how. Are you kidding me? You're supposed to be smart. You're a developer. You're a developer. And this is the thing, your program that's called frame lock. The, the camera is shuttering at the same speed that the, uh, the, the propellers are, are turning, but you have no idea how it works. Okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Or, or, you know, that's just a visual, that's a visual, uh, the thing that it's like a trick, little visual trick. And that's that come on, Rob, is this the best you can find? Yeah. 
How many upvotes did that have? Like a million? Oh, also, if you want to send us submissions, go to the subreddit. It's uh, techno not submissions at Reddit. Rob put it like there. Because maybe you can do better than Rob, by the way, when you, yeah. Probably do, you could probably do better than Rob. Probably. Yeah. Make your own. Make your own. Yeah. Make make something that you think would make me laugh. Because so far, this is all just the horse. Why programmers like cooking. You peel the carrot. You chop the carrot, you put the carrot in the stew, you don't suddenly find out that your peeler is several versions behind and they drop support for carrots in 4.3. You're just incompetent at that point. So when you update projects, maybe don't hit the auto update button. That's why in th you version lock it. You version lock it to the thing that does do carrots. You idiot. Downvote. God, I wish there was an easier way to do this. Is it an even number? And then you're gonna put the numbers here and then you're going to say it's true if it's an even, or it's this other way. Is this open source because I could help entering all the numbers? Well, that guy's obviously joking, and she's joking. I know her, kind of, like I internet know her. I get it. I get it. Upvote. It's not funny, but I get it. I'll sometimes leave a dangling else just as a threat to the compiler that it better run that if statement or else. That's, that's just a wasted line of code. Okay, that probably has a million upvotes on it. That's so stupid. Or else, haha. The amount of pandering these people do. I mean, can you really freaking sleep at night? Commenting my code like... All right, that's hilarious. So you see like the clock is... <laughs> that's what all my comments look like, yeah. A user has opened a ticket that indicates that the computer clock keeps losing the correct time. What is the most likely cause of the problem? The CPU needs to be overclocked is what the person said. I get it, I guess. You're gonna... You're gonna fail the test though it's probably this battery thing when you finally catch the person that's been writing bad code all the time <laughs> I <actually like> that. <laughs> yeah yeah that's right it's always you you were always the one okay it's an upvote son son you can't spend all day playing video games <laughs> what's this <laughs> the cleavage on her uh what would your grandpa say write your bad your code with bad variable names if only you can read it you can't be fired yeah but they'll just find and replace it that's not hard. Grandpa, that's why you're dead, because you don't really know things, do you? Math.random is Pangea? What is this? I don't I don't understand. Is this Earth it's not Earth. This is like different Earth. Wait, it's not really random? There should be a question mark, right? Then this guy's saying never has been. And he's shooting this guy. Can you sh you shoot a gun in space? That's an American flag. I don't know what that one is. Space Space Texas? I don't know. Okay, well, that's also getting a downvote. I want to code, but I don't know how to get started. Grab mouse, keyboard, thumbs up. Yeah, I mean, that's all you got to do. I mean, this is a joke. This is a joke. I mean, it's motivation, sure. That's all you got to do, guys. If you want to learn how to code things, it's the easiest thing you'll ever do. It's not like being a carpenter where you have to go get the wood or being a sculptor where you have to go get the marble. You just sit down, get your mouse. Don't code on a laptop though. That's for weird hipster people. Uh, so this is the worst. This is probably, I mean, we, we spent a lot of time, like we actually spent weeks coming up with this format. So I hope you enjoyed it. But I, I feel like the content's horrible. Humanity, you need to step up your game when it comes to programmer memes. Anyways, if you thought that was even remotely entertaining, which it probably wasn't, just hit that subscribe button, hit like, hit whatever thing in the UI exists to tell you to get notifications. So maybe you can do better than these guys. I really hope you can. So if you like this stuff, there's actually a subreddit that Rob set up for this. It's r slash technonaut submissions. Put it there. Figure out a way to do that. Uh, so you go there and submit the memes. Please do better than Rob because, or, or make your own or something like that. Because these, this was horrible. Like I want to see stuff that's actually funny and not just making fun of how bad like just, just these people who probably aren't even developers they're like children who just think oh i'll get, go get farm karma here no see if you can come up with something that makes me laugh we'll see because these are going to be rare upvotes i see i think in the future um but like and subscribe we'll be back uh next week with another one of these uh so you got a couple days to kind of get these in we'll check them out and pick the best um yeah i guess we have a do we have an outro for this <laughs>